Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in our data structures that is searching algorithms. Searching algorithms. So there are different types of searching algorithms. So first we'll go with the linear search algorithm. So linear search and first what is meant by this searching searching means finding an element whether it is available in an array or a sequence so in python we we'll call it as a sequence so unless you use the library uh, numpy we, we are unable to create the arrays directly right so that's why we are taking here list concept so we will consider list as a sequence and we are trying to find the element whether it is available in the sequence or not. So the first one is a linear search. So here what we have to do means, so comparing search element with all the elements of with all the elements of a sequence or list right so we we are considering one sequence so it will be having a multiple elements so blindly comparing each and every element of the sequence with the search element so if you found it simply we will return the index of that particular value the position so to get the position right so just comparing each and every element so for example uh, here the sequence is having four elements 10, 40, 60, 20. Right? 10, 40, 60, and 20. So the search element, the search element is some 60. So what is the process? So first iteration, the first step, 60 will be compared with 10. So fail. So second, 60 will be compared with 40. Fail. Next, third, 60 will be compared with 60. Right. So we'll stop iterating here. So we'll stop iterating here. So this is how we have to implement the linear search. So comparing each and every element. And here one thing we need to remember. So elements, elements of a sequence, elements of a sequence can be in any order, can be in any order because we are not bothering about the order that means ascending order or descending order or any sorting, sorting order, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Just we are comparing the each the search element with each and every element, right? So that's why in this linear search, the elements of sequence can be in any order. And there is one drawback. There is a one drawback. So if the search element is 20, if search element is 20, so we need to travel. So how many comparisons need to be done? The comparisons can be 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 comparisons to be done. So, in the 4th comparison, the search is successful. So, that means, in the worst case, if the search element is the last element of a sequence, so we need to compare from the first element towards the last element. So, that is a drawback. Okay. So, we need to perform all the comparisons. So for example, so here we are having only 4 elements. So if the list is having some 100 elements, what happens? If the search element is at 100th position, so we need to compare, we, have, we need to iterate or we need to compare so almost 99 elements. So 99 comparisons to be done and at the 100th comparison, the search will be successful. 
so this is the drawback so this was so some sort of time taking time taking right so but the process is comparison of search element with all the elements one by one right so let's uh, have a look on the program so i'll execute the program in the interpreter let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen the theoretical part of uh, linear search how it will work so now we'll write the program so first let us take the input so let us read the number of elements before that we need to use one sequence i'll use a list concept so i'm creating an empty list and i'm i'm uh, we need to take the input that means now how many number of elements we need to insert into the list so uh, input so enter number of elements to be inserted into list so after that uh, just uh, print i mean read all the values so n values for that we can use a iterative statement so i'll use a print enter n values right so here i'll i'll iterate from 0 right for i in range of n so it means it will iterate from 0 to n minus 1 okay so what we have to do we need we, i'm using the append function so we are having an append function in the list concept so append function will append the element to the list so l dot append of here we need to read the input right input so all the n elements will be read now what we have to do we need to get the search element we need to read the search element right so s is equal to search element is equal to so i am again i am taking the input so input enter element to be searched right so again what we have to do we have to compare each and every element with the search elements for that again i am using the iterative statement for i in uh, range of uh, length of l minus 1 so if the search element or simply you can use l of i so l of i means first iteration l of 0 second iteration l of 1 third iteration l of 2 etc etc is equal to is equal to yes simply you can find you can print yes uh, yes is found at position what position i plus 1 so i will be the index right so here the index will start from 0 that means if the position is 3 the index will be 2 okay if the position of the element is 3 the index of that position is 2 because it will start from 0 so that's why exact position i am printing the exact position so i plus 1 and simply you can break so you need not compare for the remaining elements you need not compare with the remaining elements and after coming out from the loop so if it come out from the for loop okay without any successful execution here you can print uh, yes is not found in list right so that's it execute so enter the number of elements i'll give you four elements so we need to enter four values i'll give a 10 20 30 40 search element i'll give 30 oh we got some error let us check for an i in range unsupported list int okay so here we need to close the brace here not there right see four elements so 10 20 30 40 and the search element is 30 so you can see 30 is found at position 3 so it will start comparing from first iteration and once again we'll go with the four elements so you can take any order in any order so 40 100 so 20 and 30 so i'll go with the 100 so 100 is found at position 2 coming to the false case so i'll go with the four elements so 10 90 30 and 50 i'll go with i will search for 100 so which is not found in the list okay after completion of this iteration if if still uh, the i mean the control uh, doesn't ends automatically it will execute these else so if the search is found automatically break it will come out from the for loop and it doesn't execute the else right only if it is a break 
this unconditional break right so hope you understood this one and simply uh, in order to avoid all these things you can also write directly the iteration uh, the membership operators by using the membership operators so if yes in l if yes is in l so you can simply print is uh, found at position so here we need to find the position so find the position will be uh, we can use a index method so we are having the index method so we can use the index method to get the position right okay so i'll go with the four elements so 10 40 30 uh, sorry 20 and 50 i'll go with the 30 or 20 so you can see 20 is founded position 2 so you can use a directly the membership operator because you are using python so we are directly having the search operators membership operators we can use a membership operators or we can also use the iterative statements as we have discussed just now right so this is the linear search and one advantage is then elements need not be in a sorted order and one disadvantage is if the element the search element is available at the last position we need to travel from first element towards the last element okay the time taking the, uh, the time will be more right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this process feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much